Hi everybody, this is Miss Hunter from the West Bank Boys and Girls Club, and today's experiment is sugar glass. With the theme of this week being deserts, I figured we could learn a little bit about how sand is turned to glass. Items you need for this experiment are canola oil, corn syrup, granulated sugar, cream of tartar, a pot, a measuring cup, and some measuring spoons. Our first step is going to be measuring out all of our ingredients. We've got a cup of the corn syrup, two cups of granulated sugar, and half a cup of water. We're going to measure those out into our pan and boil them uh, at a low heat. As it gets hotter, you'll see it start to bubble and the sugar will dissolve into it. Be careful of the high heat and stir very slow and carefully without splashing any up onto you. It'll slowly start to boil and as it starts to go to that bubbling place it's going to boil until it changes color. So pay close attention here and just stir a little bit. Starting to bubble up. See how it looks sort of clear? You want it to turn a slight shade of gold before you take it off the heat. So we're looking and watching for that gold shade. While that's boiling a little bit longer, what you should do is take your cooking spray and spray it along a shallow pan and that is what we're going to put our mixture into so that it can form the glass as a flat sheet. Now it's starting to shift color a little bit. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Just like normal glass, the temperature of the granules and the other parts of the mixture has to get up really, really high. For sugar, that temperature is about 300 degrees, and you can see it's not quite there yet. Heat off once it takes that bit of time. We're going to stir. And while it's still hot, we're going to pour into our pan. You 
using pot holder. Make sure that the surface is mostly flat. We're making sure it's spread evenly over the pan. And then we're going to move it onto a flat surface to cool. Now that we've got it onto this flat surface, we're going to let it cool for about an hour. And that's how long it will take for the sugar crystals to cool. So just let it sit, don't watch it, and come back to it later. That's what I'm going to do, so I will see you back here in an hour. All right, you guys, as you can see, it is finally done. It even has a crack in it. Um, so basically, it's hardened into what you can imagine as glass. So let's shatter it. And now you can eat the shards. It's just sugar after all. Cool, right?